We are home and getting back to real life. So I was down in the kitchen and I could hear water dripping in the ceiling. My toilet was broken. Hurry, you're late, come on. They are going to go see a Pioneer house. Okay, you're the mom, goodbye, I love you. We have some absolutely amazing kids. We are home and getting back to real life. <laughs> I gotta clean out the old food out of the fridge. One thing I need to do is feed my sourdough start. It's been in the fridge the whole week and so if I feed it now and let it warm to room temperature, it'll be good to make some dough tonight. I am actually gonna do a sourdough class next week for some of my friends. Um, because I've had a lot of people asking if I would teach them how to make sourdough. So next week, I'm gonna have to make a big thing of sourdough starch so everyone can have their own sourdough start after the class. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, I gotta feed Gwyneth so she can be ready for bread tonight. Since I haven't had time to do, to go to the grocery store, because I'm helping this guy with his schoolwork. And I cleaned out all of the leftovers that were no good in the fridge. So we have the option of eggs and grapefruit for dinner or the beehive meals. I actually am so glad because I was like, oh, I don't want to figure out, I don't want to hurry and go to the store, figure out what to cook, cook it. Then I remember that we have beehive meals in the freezer and this one is creamy tortellini and sausage and I put in the crock pot, two cups of water and then it just cooks for four hours and we have delicious dinner and I don't have to worry about it and I don't have to plan it. I don't have to do any of those things. It's all ready. It was just sitting in my freezer waiting for us to eat it. I am not even joking, 100% I am hooked on beehive meals. I mean, Johnny and I have told everybody about these. They are so affordable, so delicious, and they are in your freezer. They deliver it to your front door and you put them in your freezer until you're ready to cook them. You can use the code Tannerites, all lowercase, you get 5% off, there's a link in the description, and they will send you 10 meals a month, and it's like, $3.50 a person per meal. That is insane. It's already prepared for you. You just put in your crock pot, instant pot, however you want to cook it, and it's ready for your family for dinner. And it's healthy options. It's all things that I can read, all words that I can read, all things that I know that I would put in it myself, and it's delicious. Hurry, you're late, come on. Come on. All right, buddy. You need to be back for me in five hours. Five hours? Okay. Yep. Have so much fun. Bye. See you in a while. I love you. See ya. Love you. So Asbury went to an activity with, I don't know if it's called activity days anymore. I don't know. But it's boys that are eight and between the ages of eight and 11 go to these activities. And now I guess Canyon is technically old enough to go to this, so I'll have to let them know that Canyon turned eight. Um, they are going to go see a Pioneer house, and I think Asbury will have a really fun time. Canyon maybe probably wouldn't have. So that's what Asbury gets to do today. Most of the times when they have activities, the kids are filming or we're gone or something like that, so he doesn't get to go very often. And it always makes me sad because they're doing something fun and it's his friends in our neighborhood and he doesn't get to spend time with the kids in our neighborhood very often. So I'm glad he's getting to go. I'm glad he's getting to spend some time with friends and just get that exposure. Hey bud. Hi. How was it? Fun. So fun? Mm-hmm. What'd you guys do? went to the winter home of Brigham Young. Nice. What was your favorite part? I don't know. <laughs> I'm 
Wait, it was the office. That was pretty cool. And there was a picture of the inside, mm -hmm. the temple of this place, mm -hmm. and it wasn't even finished. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And right now, it's still not even finished. No, Again. I mean, it was a drawing. <laughs> oh, I see. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad you had fun. Okay, mm -hmm. take all the groceries. Don't squish the bread, though. Well, I was able to get groceries to restock, restock the fridge. I have a lot of meat that I need to put up there, but I need to separate it. And now it's time to get things cleaned up and ready for dinner. This smells so good. I'm really sad that you don't have smell-o-vision right now. It smells so good, I can't wait to try it. Since we decided to keep the intercom system, actually not keep it, we replaced the intercom system with a new intercom, this is a brand new one. Every single room in the house has a new intercom receiver in it, including the doorbell. And this is the doorbell. Check that hole out. We have massive space there, massive space here. So, I have some work to do. This stucco system is called EFS. It consists of foam. You can see the foam right there. It has wire, lathing. It has what's called PMS or premixed stucco right here. And then it has the finish on it, which is the color coat and the texture. Right now, we're gonna focus on not the foam. We're gonna focus on this space right here of just filling it with mud. I might have some foam that I can put in there. Um, but we won't put any laughing on it because I don't really have any place to stick it to. And look what I just found in the garbage. A perfectly good piece of foam. That will help, for sure. Okay. Need to put some foam in that spot right there. Okay, foam is in. Okay, so what we have is, you can see that I've patched the whole portion of it and I've left a surface for the actual stucco so I can get this same color stucco and go over top of that. What I found was, is this is actually stucco. It's not the pre-mixed stucco that's underneath the concrete portion, which has uh, typically fibers in it. It is just the surface stucco. And it'll, it'll do well enough for what we're trying to accomplish. But I've got to go over top of that now as you can see, you can see the gray in there still because that is the portion that I need to get that texture and go over top of it with, which is the finish. Not right now though, because I have to let this dry. Look at this. What's it, Mimkidi? <laughs> oh. A large part of me wants to shave my beard right She's now, like <laughs> but Mimkidi loves it. Neymar really likes it now. He likes to pull my beard. And Sarah likes my beard. And all the kids like my beard, so it's hard to it's hard to think of shaving it when the people around me that I that I appreciate the most like the beard. So I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe I'll keep it for a minute. I don't know. And look at that, I have some gray hairs in my beard. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's like at least twenty in there. See the gray hairs in my beard? Hi. They're in there. Okay, Kane just came to me and said, "What?" My toilet was broken. So I was down in the kitchen and I could hear water dripping in the ceiling. Yes. That's what I heard. So we come in here and I said to wiggle the handle, right? Wiggle the handle. Nothing happening. We take the back off. Okay, usually wiggling the handle makes the plunger go back down. But it won't go back down, why? There is something in it. What is that? What is that? Warning. Use of in-tank cleaning products voids warranty as they can destroy parts and cause water leaks that may lead to property damage. This is a warning label that's underneath of that thing warning you about, prop the, about damage. The warning label that they put inside of the toilet warning you 
not to put cleaning products because it voids the warranty as they can destroy parts and cause water leaks that may lead to property damage. Ended up doing what? Destroying the, um, making the toilet broken. What is that all about? The actual label. <laughs> Asbury, come here. Okay, here, go brush your teeth and get ready for bed. Okay. Bye, go to bed, I love you. Okay, see you in the morning. Let's go, yo. Okay, you're the mom, goodbye, I love you. Put the Bye, kids to bed. Okay. Kids need to go to bed. Mm-hmm. Garbage needs to go out. Okay. Love you. Okay, we'll be Okay, okay, I'm letting the kids just be up for just a minute while I do the garbages. This is going to take me like five minutes, so then I'll put them to bed. Here's the garbage bag. And then I have to do Mim Kitty's bathroom. I'll do her the garbage in there. Okay, you boys ready for bed? Both brush your teeth? Uh-huh. Okay, good job. Okay, good night, I love you boys. See you tomorrow. You go to bed, okay? Tomorrow. Go to bed. Let's go tell Lizzie to go to bed. Lizzie, bedtime, okay? So finish whatever you're drawing and then go to bed, okay? Good night, love you. Easiest time being mom ever because just put the kids to bed. Now I'll go to bed. Easy peasy. Johnny and I decided to take off after the kids were going to bed and go see a movie because we like haven't seen each other all day today. That's true. <laughs> we have some absolutely amazing kids and i'm sure you guys already know that but i figured i would say it uh just because it's just something that's on my mind right now and i really do appreciate having incredible kids when we were younger and we were having kids sarah was having the babies some of you might think um, we've actually had lots of people ask us and i appreciate the question because i'm not it's not something i i'm ashamed of um but like do you have so many kids because you're mormon We've had that a lot. We've had a lot of people ask, so you're LDS, and oh, so that's why you have so many kids, and it's actually very interesting. Savannah was actually, when Savannah was born, uh, we were not, I mean, like we were not active, we weren't active. And so the way that it went down is, uh, you know, Branson was born when we were 17, we were very young, um, and we were very young when Allie was born, considered pretty young when Danielle and even Savannah were born. But each time that we had a baby, um, each time that um, Sarah was in the hospital and she just had a baby, we would have the conversation if we were going to have another one. And so that conversation happened right after Sarah had a baby. And so we would most, most of the time make that decision then. Only As and Canyon, um, after that point, were the ones where we, we weren't too certain what was gonna happen. And I feel like it's an interesting thing to think about now because I really didn't know how many kids we wanted, honestly. But to have seven amazing kids is, is a pretty cool feeling. And uh, anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. And the um, crazy thing is, is like whether you're an adult or you're a, a kid, a teenager, an older person, however you want to look at it, we were all kids at one point. We were all babies at one point. We were all born at one point. So we have a lot more in common than than we think. And I think the, the, the biggest thing we have in common is, <laughs> is just that, is that we were born here and that uh, we all have a purpose. And it's all going to be up to us to find out what that is and it's unique to us. It's not gonna be the same purpose as someone else has. And sometimes we get caught up in that thinking that we're less than because we don't have the same purpose as someone else. And that's not giving ourselves enough credit. So if you're feeling less than right now, remember that somebody's probably looking at you and the talents and abilities and the gifts and the, what you have to offer and who you are. They might be looking at you going, I feel less than this person, I feel less than, because I think it's in us to feel like we're not enough. I guess it's just like not being appreciative for the air that we breathe. Um, we're not appreciative for who we are and what we are gifted with and what we're talented with and uh, our capabilities and our abilities. Anyway, so don't forget that. Try to remember who you are, what makes you unique, and that's the important part. We love you guys. Never forget that. You are worth it. <laughs>